Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can add insets into your Publish Map document. Um, so to begin with, I have a, a map that's loaded, a map data view document in my simple GIS client project. Uh, a map of the U.S. with congressional districts. And I'm using the NAD83 USA contiguous Albers equal area conic map projection for this particular map, <clears throat> which is a fairly common uh, projection to use when mapping uh, areas of the entire U.S. And so to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new published map document based upon this map data view. So here on my toolbar, I'm going to go all the way to the very end on this top row. That is the Publish Map uh, tool button. And when I click on that, of course, I'll get a dialog box that allows me to choose different templates to start with to base my map on. And so an inset map really is where you have a map of a large area and then maybe you have some smaller inset views um, at a different scale for different areas of the map. Um, it's somewhat common, uh, the map uh, book map template uses that same concept where it shows kind of an inset with the area that you're currently viewing uh, when you're creating a map that may span over several pages. Um, but in today's demonstration, it's a little bit different. So I'm not creating a multiple page map or published map book. This is just going to be a single page map. And then I'm just going to create some insets to show some different areas uh, at a different scale on the map. So I'm going to go ahead and start by selecting this landscape, this small page full view landscape. So I'll select that particular template. And for my page settings, I want to come and I'm going to select a tabloid page size, an 11 by 17, so a little bit larger page size. And that's all I'm going to set for now. So I'm going to just simply come to the top here once I have uh, selected those items and click apply. And it's going to create my new published map document. And here it is, uh, fully blown up. And so to start with, my main view here, my main map, I just want of the, uh, the lower 48 states um, to show in that particular um, view document. So I'm going to come here and make sure that I zoom in just around this area that contains uh, those states. So I'm going to go to my viewport navigation tool here in the upper left. Right now it's turned off and I'm going to turn it on by simply clicking on the tool and you see that the red X disappears. And then that's going to allow me to zoom in to features in this viewport window, which is right now occupying the entire page based upon the template I selected. And so I'm going to use this zoom in tool, zoom direct. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw a rectangle just around this lower 48 states and then release. And now you see that my map is zoomed in just to that area. So now to demonstrate what I want to do is let me go ahead and turn off my viewport navigation. So now I can zoom and pan around on the page without actually zooming within the viewport window. Um, but I'm going to create an inset and I'm going to add uh, for the state of Alaska and uh, for the state of Honolulu um, or Hawaii, I'm sorry. And uh, then I'll possibly add uh, Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands as well. Uh, but before I do that, let me add a scale bar to my map. So I'm going to come here uh, on this drop down tool button menu on my bottom row that allows me to add different map elements. And I want to add a scale bar. And this scale bar is going to be for this main viewport window. So as I click on that, I'm just going to click in this lower uh, right corner where I'm going to place the scale bar for this main viewport. And when I click on a location, I get the scale bar properties. And so I want a true, uh, an actual scale bar with the ticks, uh, marks, um, designating the, the scales. And so I'm going to select, I want one major division, one subdivision, and then I'm going to associate this to our main viewport, which is the only one we have on our map currently. So viewport one. And for my scale units, I'm going to select on the drop down and select mile, and I'll click apply. 
And as I do so, I see that my scale comes up. And if this is a little bit too hard to see, I can zoom in on my page just so we can see this scale bar. Um, and as I see that it's a scale of 1 to 219.48 miles, which, well, that's not a very nice round scale. So we're going to change that. And first of all, though, I'm going to reposition my scale bar. So I'm going to click on my Select Graphics tool. I'm going to click on my scale bar. And I'm just going to kind of drag it more closer towards the corner here. Now, to actually change the scale of the viewport, I need to change the viewport properties. So let me zoom back out to my full map window. And I'm going to use my Select Graphics tool again. And if I just click on this main viewport window, I see that it highlights. And if I actually double click on it, I'll get the properties of the viewport window. And this is where I can change the scale of the viewport window. And so the scale is based on one inch equals how many inches. So we have to convert, you know, for instance, if I'm wanting to convert miles, uh, you know, one inch equals so many miles, I'd have to convert the miles to inches to determine what the equivalent scale is. So, for example, if I wanted this to be one inch to 200 miles, I see how that looks. I'm just going to pull up my calculator. And I'm going to say 200 miles times 5,280 feet per mile and then 12 inches per foot would give me a scale of 1 to 12,672. And so I'm just going to type that value in my scale properties box here. So, and then I'll click apply. And when I do that, I see that the map did scale in a little bit more. And now I see my scale bar reflects one inch equals 200 miles. So now I can get on with the business of adding the insets, which was the purpose of this video tutorial anyhow. So to add a new inset view, I'm going to come back to my drop down tool button list here. And as I click on this drop down, I'm going to select add viewport. And I'm going to add a new viewport in this corner here. And so I'll just simply click and drag to draw a box for my new viewport. And in this case, I'm going to select my same map data view that I want to link to. So whenever I first added the viewport, I get this viewport property. So I'm selecting my map data view document which is the map data view that this viewport is going to be based on, the data it's going to be looking in it, and click Apply. And I see that it adds, you know, to the original extent of this map data view document. So if you look at the bottom of your screen, you see you have these uh, document tabs. So this current tab that I'm on, the Street Atlas Map 1, that's my current published map document I'm viewing. And this simple USA map view is my map data view document that actually contains the data and, and everything that I'm, I'm using to build this map off of. So if I click on that document again, this is where we started from. I'm going to come back to my publish map document tab, click on it. We see where we're at here. So now I want to change what I'm viewing in this new viewport we added. And so I'm going to use my viewport navigation tool once more. So I'm going to click on this Turn Viewport Navigation on. And then I'm just going to zoom in around this area. So I'm going to use my Zoom to Rec tool. And I want to zoom in around the state of Alaska in this case. So I'm just going to click and drag around Alaska and release. And I see that now it's changing my view in this viewport window. Let me see if I can get it in a little bit tighter. Um, that's probably about as good as it's going to get, though, but I'll try it anyhow. So um, now I have this new viewport, which is viewing the state of Alaska. And I can also add now a scale bar just for this viewport. So I'm going to come back here to my tool button drop down list that has all of my different map elements I can add. 
and I'm going to select scale bar. I'm going to click in this case in the lower left corner to add the scale bar. So for the scale bar properties, I want it to be a scale bar with uh, uh, major divisions and minor divisions. And now under the view properties with the viewport, I want to select not viewport one, which was the main viewport that we added, but now we have this one called viewport two. And again, I'm going to select my scale units as miles and click apply. And now if I notice, again, I have now a scale of one inch to 697.36 miles. Again, not a nice round scale number. So we can kind of round that off and change our viewport scale. So let's say if we wanted this to be one inch equals 700 miles. Again, I want to bring up a calculator. I'm going to say 700 miles times 5,280 feet per mile times 12 inches per foot. So my scale for that viewport needs to be 44,000, 44 million, excuse me, 352,000. So now using my select graphics tool here, I'm going to click on this viewport and if I double click on it, it'll bring up its properties. And now I can change the scale to what we just calculated. 44,372,000. Click apply. And now it scaled my map and I see I have a nice round scale of 700. Oh, did I do that wrong? 352. Yeah, I missed. I put three, uh, 44 million 372. So it needs to be 44 million 352. So again, let's bring up this property. And instead of 372, we'll change that to 352. Click apply. And now my scale is set to one inch equals 700 miles. And now it's simply a matter of repeating this process for any other viewports you want to add. So if I wanted to add a new viewport for Hawaii, come here and click and drag to draw another box. And I'm going to need to zoom in just around Hawaii. It's a little bit hard to see in here. I can also use this pan feature if things get a little too close to the edge. And now zoom. And I'll zoom in around Hawaii. Let me just zoom in around the major islands here. And now we have Hawaii added. And I can also use the pan tool as long as I have the viewport navigation on to pan and reposition this. But again, you have to make sure you have the viewport navigation on because if I turn this off and I pan, all I'm doing is moving the page around that I'm viewing. You see, I'm not actually panning anything within the viewport that I'm trying to, to uh, edit. So. so now I'm gonna go ahead and add another scale bar for this new viewport. So I'll come here and I'll click here. Again, I'll put it kind of in the lower left here as well. And now it's going to be based on viewport three. I'll set my units to miles again. And now I see it is one inch to 195.3 miles. So I want to make that a nice even. In this case, I'm just going to round up to one inch to 200 miles. So again, pull up my calculator. Set 200 miles times 5,280 feet per mile times 12 inches per foot gives me a scale of 12,672,000. So let me open up my viewport properties for this viewport and enter in that value 12,672,000. And click apply. And now I have Hawaii added as well. And then last, uh, but certainly not least, I'll go ahead and, and do a viewport for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And maybe I'll add it over here on this side of the map. Again, I'm selecting my same map data view document. Let me turn my viewport navigation on. 
so I can zoom in around this new viewport. Oh, let me select the right tool. Again, you need to make sure you have the right tool selected, so I don't want to use the zoom in tool. I had the select graphics tool selected, so. And then we'll just zoom in around this area here. Use my pen and just kind of move this up a little. And then I'll go ahead while I'm editing add a scale bar for this viewport as well. And once again, I do need to edit this somewhat. So I'm looking at its current scale. It's one inch to 109.3 four miles so I'm going to try and make it just go to an even 100 miles so again pull up my calculator so for one inch equals 100 miles I would say 100 miles times 5,280 feet times 12 inches per foot is 6,336,000 so use my select graphics tool double click on my viewport and change its scale And there we have it. And now I could do some other features. Um, maybe if after viewing I don't like my main map view scale bar in this corner, I could still move it around if I wanted to center it in the map. It's just strictly user preference, doesn't really matter. Um, we could even add other graphic elements to our published map. So for instance, if I wanted to add a title, and maybe uh, I didn't select the right map template to start with, I can still come in and add text to my map here. So just click where I want to place the text. Type in the text. Even change my symbol. If I wanted to use a different font symbol. And click apply. Uh, and of course that's way small right now so let me use my graphic select tool i'm going to kind of just move it and then i want to click one of these handles and drag to resize it and so and that's that's pretty much it so again the main point of this video is just showing you how you can add these different insets uh viewports into your map so that you can uh you know have different areas that's uh zoomed in and so each of them have their own scales as you can see by the scale bar so hopefully this was useful and of course from this point um, you could publish this map you could save it to a pdf save it to a graphic file or actually print a hard copy to your plotter but in any case uh hey this is a simple gis and hopefully uh this this helps you out if you uh, like more information, please visit our website. That website is simplegissoftware.com. Thank you.